Hey friends, welcome back to another video. If you're new, my name's Nat Moran and I live in my Forerunner full time with my dogs Pike and Agron. In today's video, we are continuing our Black Hills exploration and I wanted to talk about dispersed camping in the Black Hills. If you haven't watched the last video, I recommend you go to that first so you can meet the ladies. We've been in the Black Hills National Forest, South Dakota for a few days now. We've been having a blast exploring the touristy attractions such as Mount Rushmore and Custer State Park. But now we've decided to move campsites and dive deeper into this beautiful area. Scouting for a new spot that could fit all of our rigs was a challenge. The map indicated there was dispersed camping, but there were no sites along the various back roads we traversed on. Thankfully, we found this gem of a spot. Amy Poehler once said, find a group of people who challenge and inspire you. Spend a lot of time with them and it will change your life. These ladies are exactly the type of people I want to surround myself with. They are kind, genuine, and wholehearted people. After a beautiful evening hanging out around the propane fire pit, we noticed a light show in the sky above us. Each of our weather apps said that we would have clear nights, so we didn't think a storm was rolling in. But we all got the inclination that it was time to get in our cozy beds and go to sleep for the night. As soon as we all secured ourselves in our little homes on wheels, we realized that our weather apps were very wrong. I have been living on the road for two and a half years now, so I've experienced my fair share of storms in the tent, but this one was by far the worst storm I've ever experienced. Not only did we have heavy rain and lightning, but we were also hit with aggressive hail. Thankfully, we didn't experience any significant damage, but it was enough to dampen our spirits a little. Jody Bickley once said, when you are in the middle of the storm cloud, it's hard to think outside of it, but the only way out of the storm is to ride through it and things will be a lot clearer on the other side. I've been coming to the Black Hills for a little bit now and I've had a challenge trying to find good camping out here. And I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that I didn't understand the rules associated with the dispersed camping out in the Black Hills area of South Dakota compared to other places I've been like Colorado and so on. So if you don't have one of these maps, I suggest you pick one up at a local store or a gas station in town that way you can access all of this amazing content because there's a lot of really awesome resources in this map, including where you can and cannot disperse camp. When you're looking for dispersed camping, you're going to look for two dots on each side of the road. That's going to indicate dispersed camping where you can for free. And that is marked on this map. Now, make sure that you're looking at the most current updated version of this map. This video may end up becoming outdated. So in order to prevent you from making an error on where you can or cannot camp, make sure that you're following the most latest version of these maps. So my girlfriends and I were driving around the trails trying to have a good time and find camping in the process. And we just couldn't find anything. I was on iOverlander, free campsites net campendium all of these different resources that were saying that there's all these little bubbles on the map that should indicate free camping but when we get there it looked like an open field or like it was not an actual established campground so we were starting to get a little discouraged because we really couldn't find a whole lot of options first of all we have five rigs so we're a pretty good sized crew so we had been driving and driving and driving for days and days and days trying to look at the map to plot where we were going to camp next and we were not having very much luck we were on the spring creek trail and we were driving along and we went to three or four places that indicated that there was camping and we couldn't find anything 
and to our good luck, a National Forest Ranger drove right by and we were able to flag him down and get the scoop on what is going on with the dispersed camping in the Black Hills of South Dakota. The ranger was so nice and I have to give credit to this area. He said there's several different districts of National Forest and I cannot remember which district he was in, but he was one of the nicest people we've ever talked to. He said that he wasn't really sure where the cool free camping spots were, but if it's on the map and there's those two dots alongside of the road that indicate dispersed camping, you can camp there. And while they prefer that you find an established campsite, that's not a requirement. And that made me a little bit nervous compared to when we camp in Colorado and other states that have more restrictions around dispersed camping. The last thing I want to do is disturb this environment. And by creating a new campsite, you're changing the ecosystem of that area. And that's not something that exactly my friends and I are comfortable with. But after talking to the ranger and him explaining that while that is of course, they don't want you to go and just create new campsites everywhere. They want you to respect the area and leave no trace. It technically is allowed. So my recommendation, if you're looking for free camping, make sure that you're checking out the local regulations and the rules online or going to a ranger station just to get the scoop. That way you're staying up to date with the current regs on what is allowed in the Black Hills National Forest. Now, of course, our preference is going to find a pre-established spot but that doesn't really exist in the Black Hills all over the place. So I always encourage you to be respectful to the terrain, try not to create new campsites, no open fires in this area unless it indicates otherwise on their website, but just have fun out there and know that there is camping, even though it might seem really impossible. Just try to do your best to minimize the damage that your vehicle or your rig is leaving behind and make sure you're cleaning up after yourself so that you are preserving this beautiful place for years and years to come. So if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and the bell notification, go ahead and do so now so you don't miss out on future content. And until next time, I hope you all stay safe and have a very blessed day. Bye.